So, going down into the base cabinets, which are always a nightmare to organise because they're so deep. Um, this drawer holds cleaning cloths and tea towels. I just buy like face flannels because I find they're the right size, they're nice and textured for kind of cleaning and scrubbing some duster cloths. So I just buy those for cheap and we use those. Okay, underneath, this is my baking cupboard. So in this basket I have all my cookie cutters and fondant and tools and things. And behind there I've got my Pembrokeshire um, decorator. It's like an icing gun and all the attachments and my icing bags. Parchment paper and any box mixes I do buy, put in there. Because sometimes you just don't feel like baking from scratch. Um, got my muffin tins down the side. One of these big tubs and on top I have two nesting boxes. One has sprinkles and like vanilla essence and whatnot. Um, and my mixer and then underneath I have jam jars that I've labelled. So we've got things like poppy seeds and cupcake cases and sesame seeds and whatever baking powder in there. Um, odds and ends, chocolate, nuts. Now I want to bake and I'm supposed to be back on Weight Watchers this week. Okay, next to that is not actually a drawing cupboard, it's my dishwasher, which I could not live without. Um, got a hand towel hanging on this one, this is the under sink cabinet, which I'm quite proud of, I've just organised this. So I'm going to do a full post on that with pictures. In fact, by the time I post this video, I've probably posted that post, so I'll link to it. In the door I have um, plastic packets that we use as bin liners upstairs, and I always knock them. That's just a habit from when I had babies and toddlers and that just kind of keeps it safe that they don't put it over their head and suffocate. So there's a tip for you. Um, right, underneath I've got a tension rod on which I hang kind of our squirty bottles. Um, and I just put some nails in for the bottle brushes. This holds all of the shoe cleaning stuff like shoe polish and whatnot. Um, scrubbies and sponges. Taller bottles, odds and ends like tart burner, shelf liner. This will take upstairs when I go cleaning the bathrooms and stuff. So it's got a toothbrush to scrub crevices and a sponge and a duster and gloves. And then vacuum attachments. Um, and there's some slug killer at the back. Whatever. Okay. Moving on, the straw holds. Um, cutting boards and big cookie sheets and a splatter guard and then combs and toothbrushes and toothpaste for getting ready in the morning and then this cupboard again a corner cupboard I hate them um, big Pyrex dishes I've got just jars and lids that we want to save that's some bran in the back don't ask um, here we actually put Grant screwed this in for me because I kept wanting to swivel when I put it in and out so now it just acts like a drawer one of those plastic tubs and it has all my big containers in and then the lids go into the nesting basket and then next to it I have oil, olive oil, spray oil behind that I've got kind of extra condiments, there's some white balsamic vinegar and spices and whatnot and then just that's TVP which I'm not actually going to eat so I don't know why I'm keeping it okay Right, moving on next to the to the left of the stove. Um, right, when organising, you can organise till the cows come home, but you also got to know when to stop. And sometimes this is just organised enough. I know what's in here and I can find it. I mean, I could categorise and split it up, but there's no real point. I can get to what I need. So this is less often used things like my egg slicer and ladle and measuring cups and that. But there I can get to them. Um, here we have frying pan, small plastic colander, all of my nesting steamers and my grater. And then to the right is the more often used things. So I've got my whisks and my tongs. I use these a lot more often, but that should be in the left. That's my tuna can drink. And then I have a container in the back for my cookie scoops and little pembroke utensils. And then a plastic punnet with little things like I don't know, measuring spoons and mini whisks. And I put them onto shelf liners so they don't slide around when I open a closer drawer. You can kind of see that. Okay, underneath that, we have my big pot. My cake tins are behind there. Um, my other big pot, which doesn't have a lid, and my big colander, and more cake tins behind there. 
okay drawer. Often used odds and ends like the cheese slicer and pizza cutter and then I guess it's self-explanatory and underneath that is, ew crud, I just cleaned that up, um, takeaway menus. Okay, under that another corner cupboard, which you know how I feel about corner cupboards. We have baskets, I have my um, electric carving knife, which I use to cut homemade bread, and some loaf tins. And then a bigger basket with my muffin tins, which I do the kids like snacks in the muffin tins. The smaller ones, I use the bigger ones for baking. And then in there, at the back, you probably can't see yet, we've got bottled water and then a jug and a vase, they just get stored there. Okay, down here, these are like spaghetti jars from Ikea. I had them from, oh, two houses ago, I had them in the kitchen, so I'll link to that as well. But anyway, we store our cereal and milk powder in. We just chuck them in there and root through them when we want stuff. Also have a jug, my waffle maker, and more water stored in the corner, because that's just dead space. I don't want to have to fight to get in and out there. So we just store stuff we're not going to use often. Middle drawer, um, bag clips. Often use tools, so some pliers, a bit of sandpaper, and screwdrivers, so we don't have to go down to the cellar every time. Um, Grants multimeter randomly, and battery chargers, and then like bin liners and lunch bags and foil. Um, and beneath that, well, I'll do both drawers and then I'll do the cupboard underneath. This is my junk drawer, but because it's all kind of separated, it doesn't look like junk. Well, much. Okay, this has phone chargers. Um, tape measures, this laser level's kind of broken but it's got a tape measure on, nail clippers, caribbean clip, um, I don't know, just odds, fuses and mini bulbs which I keep in a film canister, gas key and this fills the iron, toothpicks, kids vitamins, shopping list, pens and pencils, just plastic punnets everywhere. Um, sunscreen, masking tape for labelling things, um, hay fever tablets, um, that's a lighter. Okay, so that's my junk drawer. And then underneath I have sandwich toast in the middle and I put clean hand towels there, but they're obviously all in the wash. Wok and big plastic bowls. Um, this basket has bread. And that's like bagels and stuff. It's a biltong. South African peeps will know what biltong is. Um, this tab holds all the snack goods, um, breadsticks and crackers and fruit flakes and custard pots and things. And then that holds the cereal bars because I, I take cereal bars with me and I just want to grab and go. But that I'll just read through for the kids or they'll have a read through. Um, this one holds small little plastic containers which I put stuff in the kids' lunch boxes and it has the stainless steel water bottles and the nesting basket has the lids for the containers and for the water bottles. That's like in a plastic punnet, so that's separated. Um, and the quick cook pasta, because I'm too lazy to wait for pasta when I'm making lunch. Juice boxes for the kids' lunches, more quick cook pasta that should be in the cellar. Um, some cordial and soy sauce and then at the back there's icing sugars and caster sugar and whatnot. So those are my cupboards and that's pretty much my whole kitchen. If you have any questions or comments just leave them down below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.